progress. Nature to man, man to machine. The path to our future. Oscorp. The Oscorp of today is evolving and innovative technology needs a guiding hand. Under the direction of Dr. Alistair Smythe, the betterment and security of human life has become our one goal. His mastery of nanotechnology and macro robotics will guide Oscorp Industries to a better and brighter tomorrow. Nanobots, what are they? Imagine a robot, now imagine 400 of them, standing on a dime, a microscopic army working on a molecular level. Their size is their strength and their potential is limitless. The leadership of Dr. Alistair Smythe will usher in a new era of progress for Oscorp and mankind. Oscorp, a new company with the name you trust. Peter, what are you doing here? I'm here to get you out of this asylum. But you put me here, and with good reason. I can't- I know, it's crazy. But time's running out, Connors. Something bad has happened. Something really bad. Hey there. Hey. <laughs> Thanks for coming with me, Pete. You're brave. We're gonna have to be careful here. I'm not supposed to be here after hours. I hope it's better than the first time I snuck in. That was not fun. We're not sneaking. We're investigating. Weird things happen here after hours. Stuff that Dr. Smythe's trying to get rid of. He's not a bad guy, you know? He wants to turn this company around. Yeah, that's what the video said. So, what exactly is rotten in the state of Oscorp? I think they're continuing Dr. Connor's work. Cross-species experiments. Come on. Whoa, whoa now. Like, making more lizards? Making more everything. I I'm not sure, but we're gonna find out tonight. Oscorp has the geniuses and the resources. Why can't it be a benefit to people? That's why I came back. And Dr. Smythe wants to change things. <laughs> I know. His brilliant research will usher in a new era for all humanity. Huh. Okay. Just wait a second. Nature to man. Man to machine. The path to our future. Well, we're definitely safe out here. Because we'll never get in. We're in. Huh. Keep your head down. Look at all this. I knew Dr. Smythe was the nanobot guy, but I had no idea he had big bots too. I can't believe you get to play with this stuff every day. <laughs> it never gets old. Whoa, what is that? Oh my god. This could be proof they're continuing Connor's work. Everything we had. Is everyone okay? Gwen? You alright? 
Yeah, thanks, Dr. Smythe. Hey, you kids are in big trouble. What are you doing It's here? okay, it's okay. They're with me. What are you doing here, Gwen? You know you're not supposed to be here after hours. Especially with a guest. Dr. Smythe, I am so, so sorry. This is my friend, Peter Parker. Peter Parker? I've heard about you. I'm hearing a lot about you tonight. So, why are you oh, here? I'm totally to blame, Doc. I, uh... I'm amazed at what you've done with Oscorp. I, when I heard about the changes you were making, you know, uh, nanobots, I wanted to see them for myself. You worked with Connors, right? Funny finding you here now as I waste my time trying to dispose of these cross-species. So this is a cross-species? You promised me that all of Connor's work was over. But, uh, how many more do we keep here? I told you the truth, Gwen. The experiments have stopped, just not as early as I'd hoped. No more humans turning into animals like Connor's did. But what you see here is what happens when an animal gets a nice dose of human DNA. Here, follow me. I trust you'll keep everything you see in the strictest confidence. Another one of these cross species? This is crazy. The lizard almost destroyed the city. Well, what rational mind would continue to create these things? Changing the ethics of a large corporation takes time. Now, some scientists argue that these pathetic creatures have some benefit, but they lost that argument. As of tonight, these cross species disappear. We're shipping them to our bio lab for safe disposal. Out of sight, out of mind. Uh, has this thing eaten today? It always looks like that. They went farther with Connor's work than we realized. The species in this room are incredibly dangerous and highly contagious. Hence the containment units. Hey, where'd he go? Come on out, little fella. That little fella is a walking disease. Any direct contact with it leads to infection. Infection leads to death. Or becoming a cross-species yourself. I want to keep you human, Parker. Let's keep moving. Is there a cure? Well, for these things, no. They were never human to begin with. They were born in a petri dish. For the poor humans it infects, unfortunately not. Attempts to develop an antidote have been unsuccessful. I don't want to seem cruel, but you have to understand, that thing is pure vermin. Creatures like this brought Europe to its knees with the plague. Likes me. That's strange. It, it only reacts like that when it's around other. I mean, <clears throat> other handsome guys like me. I'm used to it. Unlike robots, biological creatures are unpredictable. I much prefer things I can control. Unpredictable, huh? What is that? An iguana? This has to be the strangest office tour I've ever been on. Don't worry, Parker. Our next stop is the nanobot lab. Once you see it, you won't want to leave. Hey, excuse me, Dr. Smythe. I need someone with special clearance to help me take this down to B Sector. Oh, I don't have time for this. Uh, Gwen, maybe it's a good thing you're here. You can deal with some of this bureaucratic nonsense. A punishment for uh, trespassing. Go with him and catch up with us when you're done. Uh, Doctor, I think I'll escort her. You know, make sure she doesn't get eaten. <laughs> I understand. The beast is as enthralled by beauty as man is. Meet me in the lab when you're done. And don't wander. It's an order, Miss Stacy. Sure, Dr. Smythe. Come on, Pete. I've been great meeting you, Doctor. Likewise, Parker. It, is that... you got to be kidding me. That's taking things a little far, isn't it? It's a terrible legacy. But Dr. Smythe says we're putting it in the past. I believe him. What the what? What did you do to it? I... I didn't do anything. Peter, I think it senses your blood. It knows. It's clearly reacting to something. I've never... Oh my god! It's breaking the glass! We're breaking your... I shouldn't have brought you back. I can help. Area. I'm not 
leaving you. Dr. Connor started this, and I want to finish it on my terms. Peter, you can't help. Someone else can. What? The rats. We've got to put a stop. What do we do? Emergency shutdown. My robot take control now. What are you doing? What? Peter. Peter. No. This can't be happening. No, no, no! Gwen, look at me! Gwen! Are you okay? Oh, I'll be fine, thanks. Get me to the quarantine area. I can help you save the other scientists from there. These robots look like they want to eat me for lunch. They've been programmed to defend us against cross species, which I guess you technically are. So, yeah, watch out, Pete. Oh my god, did you see that? Don't worry, Clay. Here, get you out of here. It's not working! It's got me! Maybe you can web swing across. Oh. If these things get out of Oscar. I don't want to think about what is right now. Every robot has to attack me? Here's some for you! Here we go! Okay, Gwen. I'm a light packer. Time to get out of here. I need your help. The door's been sealed. We need to find another way. 